Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Said Mikhail of Grade 9, and today I will be speaking about Chapter 1. So, in Chapter 1, we will be talking about the components of a computer system, hardware and software, Im impact of emerging, emerging technology, operating system, and types of computers. <coughs> so, components of a computer system. The central processing unit, CPU, is the brain of the computer. The CPU comments all of the functions in the computer system. If there is no CPU, there is no computer. The computer won't work without it. Intel and AMD are one of the most popular CPU brands. Types of mem computer memory. Main memory, which consists of random access memory, RAM, and read-only memory. Secondem secondary memory consists of hard drive and pen drives. So, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. RAM is a part of a computer which temporarily stores the instructions. RAM is vol volatile. This means that if the computer is turned off, all data is gone. RAM stores instructions currently running in the computer. ROM stands for Read-Only Memory. ROM is a built-in memory which means that data cannot be changed, but only can be read. ROM usually holds the boot up instructions inside the computer. ROM is non-volatile. This means if the computer is turned off, data is lo not lost. Cache and backing storage. Cache is the fastest type of memory. It is placed in between the processor and RAM. Cache collects its data from the RAM. It holds on to normal use data. Cache transfers the next set of data from RAM into cache so that it can be processed by the CPU. <coughs> Backing storage is known as secondary storage. It is non-volatile which, mean which means that when computer is turned off, data is not lost. Backing storage is used to store data for a long time. So, hardware and software. Hardware is a physical component of a computer. There are two types of hardware, external and internal hardware. External hot hardware are the parts of the computer outside the CPU case. These are peripheral devices, for example, microphones, speakers, and projectors. Internal hardware are parts of the, compu of the computer inside the CPU case, for example, motherboard, sound card, and graphic cards. So, the CPU, central processing unit, carries out system instruction, motherboard, which is a circuit board which connects to the main components of the computer system, graphic video card, which is a device which is attached to the motherboard to enable the computer to display graphics, and sound card which enables the computer to input and deliver sounds, internal hard disk used to store information, for example, st software and files, and the network card con which connects the computer to a computer network which allows a computer to exchange data with a network. So for software, it's, so software is a set of instructions which r runs in a computer system, programs that command computer systems. So there are two types of software, application software and system software. Application software are designed to allow users to complete specific tasks, example, Microsoft Word and Google Chrome. For system software, it, it uh, controls hardware devices, for example, operating system or wi Windows and usually utility antivirus. So, thirdly, the impact of emerging technology for artificial intelligence and robotics. AI deals with develops m m machines and softwares with human intelligence. Example, expert system. Computers that have been programmed to make decisions based on information. They are programmed to. Robotics. Technology, technologies that deal with automated machines. It can be designed to look like a human and behave like a human. And it is also programmed to switch place with humans who are in dangerous environments or manufacturing processes. Languages and game playing. Computers are programmed to give interpretation of many languages as they are spoken to them. 
and game gameplay, computers are programmed to play games against humans. Impact that AI can have on everyday life. Firstly, increase leisure time. Robotic vacuum can clean floors without human helping them. The owner can just relax. Secondly, accurate prediction of weather. AI is programmed to exam examine weather more accurately than human. They can predict the weather and also give a warning of haze. Thirdly, increase personal safety. AI's deal is used in home systems to detect burglars and inform the police. Lastly, improve medical care. Robotic surgery assistants are used in hospitals to quickly pass doctors their, their surgical tools. The few seconds may save someone's life. Biometrics is an authentic authentication technique that relies on the physical characters characteristics on an, of an individual. There are several types of biometrics. Firstly, fingerprint, the analysis of an individual's fingerprints. Furthermore, voice recognition. The, analys anal the analysis of tone, pitch, and frequency of a person's voice. Lastly, the eye recognition. Retina, analysis of a capillary vessels at the back of the eye, and iris, analysis of the colored ring that surrounds the pupil's eye. The impacts of biometrics are better airport security, increase home security, and secure, secure your mobile phone. Last, uh, fourthly, the operating system. The operating system is a software that controls the general operation of a computer. The function of an operating system is to help users interact with computer, provide security to the system, and manages computer data. The Graphical User Interface GUI. It's a type of user interface. User interface built around graphics. Users icons to build uh, to command apps. Icons are used to program I use to identify programs and users men menus to select app. Examples of GUI are Windows, Android, and iOS. Touch screen is counted as post GUI. Post GUI is the use of pinching, scrolling, and expanding. CLI, command line interface, another type of user interface. CLI is needs user to enter commands to interact with computer. CLI are mostly used by experts as it's confusing to non-experts. Advantages and disadvantages of GUI. User does not need to learn command, commands. Interface is easier compared to CLI. Can use a pointing device to select icons. Dis the disadvantages are users more memory than CLI and needs an operating system to operate. The advantages and disadvantages of CLI so the advantages are user has more freedom to use specific commands with computer and are possibly to modify computer settings. The disadvantages are user needs to learn commands. Commands must be correct without no spelling error. User need to memorize commands and no visual aids. Lastly, the types of computers. There are five types of computers. Mainframe, laptop, desktop, tablet and smartphone. The mainframe computer is a large computer with many processing powers, big storage and can do many things at one time, use at one time. Many people can use it at, at one time. The laptop computer has a mousepad, keyboard and the screen all in a single unit. It is portable and c easy to carry around. Uses battery put but sometimes it relies on electric power. Can connect to internet easily without using any wires. The desktop computer, which is known as private computers PC, have their own components separately, keyboard, mouse, CPU, and monitor. It is difficult to carry around, cheaper compared to laptop computers, used in offices, and connected to an external power source. Tablet computers. It is similar to a laptop, however, it's smaller, uses touch screen technology, and users are Users use this as a phone and makes calls using a SIM card, some users at least. Smartphones Mo Modern mobile phone Used for browsing and calling, it has touch screen technology. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.